Yeah, I remember because the first World Cup ever was just four years before that in Australia and New Zealand. And you know, I remember watching that, but never believing. I was, I was in my last year of school, never believing that I would be playing in the final or playing at all in the next World Cup, but then playing in a final against England at Twickenham. Um, it was so part of me, I was pinching myself all the time. And you know, you go through funny thoughts in your head at different stages of when you're an athlete and not always the bravest thoughts or, or, or whatever, but I remember getting some notes from some of my mates who were in the pubs back in Australia watching the games at one o'clock in the morning and uh, they were telling me how much fun they were having and part of me almost wanted to be back there in the pubs watching the games, having the fun with them. You know, it was such a stupid thought because I was actually over there uh, having a lot of fun and, and, and loving it, but it's yeah, you, you go through these, you know, these different emotions through a tournament like that when you think you're, you're close to losing against Ireland and then all of a sudden you beat them and and then you beat New Zealand in the semi-final and you're playing the home nation at their home ground at Twickenham in England. And and that was such a hard game. And I talked about how how I a couple of teammates relaxed me in that um, before my first test. In the final, I had a similar story. Like you're running out onto the field in the World Cup final. There's a lot going through your heads. And, and you've got, you, we, we were kicking off, I think, after the national anthems. We had met the, uh, I think, the Queen. We had met the Queen, which was a very special moment. And then we're about to kick off. And I'm, I'm over near the sideline and getting ready to chase the ball. I've got the crowd basically, you know, this far away. I could reach out and touch the crowd. And they're singing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. As we're about to do this, there's this wave of excitement. And there's a lot of thoughts go through your head. I remember looking across the field and seeing Nick Far Jones, my captain. And Nick was our, our halfback. And I looked across at him. He, he saw me at the same time. And he just smiled. And he just had this lovely, relaxed smile on his face. And I thought, well, if he's relaxed, I should be relaxed as well. And it was just the perfect the perfect action at the at that the, at that moment which just enabled me to get into the moment to to relax and throw myself into the game 